Hey brothers and sisters, today is July 28th, 2023, and this dream right here, I felt led to do a video of it, um, and some other things I'm going to share. I did post it a few days ago on my community page, so on July 25th of 2023, I had this dream that I was, it's like I was in the spirit standing in a forest observing things, and I saw five openings five openings in a forest and I knew that these five openings were places where I knew that Russia could bring something in that it was something bad so I shared this with uh, brother Paul and he felt led to look up Glade in the most general sense, a glade or clearing is an open area within a forest. An open area within a forest. Glades are often grassy meadows under the canopy of deciduous trees, such as red alder or quaking aspen in western North America. They also represent openings in forests where local conditions such as avalanches, poor soils, or fire damage have created semi-permanent clearings. And then I shared this uh, with a couple sisters. This is um, Sister Stephanie, Blessed Hope 117. I shared it with her, and she said, That's interesting. I was having a dream the same night <clears throat> where a man was trying to take a dog, and the dog didn't want to go with him. And the dog's name means clearing in the woods. And this came out, Lisa from Watch Woman 65 put, uh, shared this a few days ago. Um, breaking news, Cuba announces it is ready to accept Russian missile again as Russian Navy arrives 90 miles from U.S. coast, which I believe um, they're talking about uh, the port of the Everglades opening in the forest. And I'm not gonna just I'm not gonna read this whole thing, but I will attach it below if you want to read it. Probably most of you have already seen her video on it anyway. But um So this is a comment that was left on her channel that stood out to me. And she says, I live in South Florida and they're going to be ninety miles from Key West. <clears throat> a few hours drive from me, Port Everglades, with the fuel storage tanks. And this is just kind of a map here. And the red, the red dot here, that's Port Everglades. And below it is Cuba. So I'm not sure if the Lord is pointing to the Everglades or what he's actually pointing to. But I really needed to get that out. And then I wanted to share um, two more things with you guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so early this morning I had a dream, July 28th, and in the dream... I saw lots of people in all different types of military uniforms, like from different countries and stuff, like all these different military uniforms they were wearing. And they were all like kind of like just standing in this really narrow, skinny area of land. And I knew in the dream that it was Israel. And then I, then I saw a partition of clear glass that was like, in front of all of them, like dividing Israel from all these people, there was like this big partition of glass, clear glass. And then I saw it being lifted up between these military people and Israel. 
And then I heard, in the spirit, I heard the words preemptive. And the Lord has actually given me that, those same words, um, I think, over a year ago, preemptive. And I wanted to, I think it was the, the video before this that I reshared a dream I had a while ago. And in the dream, I was in Israel. I was walking around outside and all the people that lived there were outside and they were just going about their daily stuff. And I looked on the ground and all over the ground there were these big giant flakes, which I believe are ash from something bad that happened. And they seemed to not notice it. And then I said to all, the, all of them around me, I said, do you know what this means? This means the rapture of the church is about to take place and Jacob's trouble is about to start. And then I said, I said this to them and it's from Hosea 5, 15. I said, he, he will go and return to his place till they acknowledge their offense and seek his face. And in their affliction, they will seek him early. And then I woke up from the dream. And, and the Lord just keeps, it's like he keeps showing me how close Jacob's trouble is to happening, which means the rapture of the church is really about to happen, you guys, like any moment now. And then also this morning, July 28th, upon awakening, I heard of my spirit, Obadiah. And then there was this space where I didn't hear anything. And then he said, you know my word, cling to it. So Obadiah is like the shortest book in the Bible. He was a minor prophet and his name means servant of God. So basically, to sum up the book of Obadiah, it's, it's basically a warning against the nation of Edom, who rebelled against God and enslaved the Israelites while they were being attacked. And it's also a warning against all nations who are arrogant and violent and full of pride. Sorry about that. And 